Guys, we're taking the Ridge Rock Danchy out for a drive in this one right here. I've got the ruptured tires by J Concepts on this thing. I've got that and I've got the 37 turn motors, 25 kg servos, front and back, dual 1080 ESCs, and 3S. Now, pretty simple vehicle. You guys know what's in this thing. We're going to get right to the rocks right now. Let's go. Well, let's see how this little guy runs here. It's got some pep. Let's see here. Yep. Got a little pep to it. So let's go ahead and get this thing over here. I'm used to things turning sharper. So it'll be interesting to see how this works out here. Take it over. I'm going to drop it down. Not in the water. But I'm going to see if I can come up this right here because it should make that, right? All right, let's get this. I'm going to get a little bit more on that back end. There we go. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to get more turn out of it, but... Ah. Uh. This thing to go right there we go again got to work on my buttons and all that stuff we're going to jump right into the gatekeeper now this can be crawled it absolutely can now maybe the clawed stall will allow that front to do its thing a little bit got to kind of drop down a little bit come on No, no, that looks like too much clawed stall, I guess. Oh, that didn't work so well. <laughs> wow, let me reset this thing. Let's try that again. This time I'm in front steer only. And I think I'm going to have to... You see, it doesn't want to make the pull to get up there. So I'm going to try to bounce it. See if I can get a lucky bounce here. Uh, nope. Really, it needs lower gearing. The gearing is just kind of way too high to really give, you know, what I think it should have. But then again, you know, 120 for this versus how much for a Berg or a Bully? There we go. <laughs> Here I am talking smack and it made it right up. All right, make sure I get this. There we go. Sorry for talking smack, Ridge Rock. Uh, I'd like to get more gearing on it. I don't know if there's anything I can do to get that gearing, is there, guys? I kind of want to get a legit real MOA for this thing, or at least maybe some bully axles because i mean you can swap bully axles into this can't you i would have to think you can and with the 540 size motors you'd have a lot more torque to mess around with oh boy and you'd be able to get more steering out of this thing trying to use some of that dig action there all right, we're gonna to go back to normal drive here. Let that back end come around, which it's not going to want to. Wow. Um, all right, let's try uh, some crab steer. All right, looks like we are slowly somehow getting into position to actually do this. So. All right, now we're going back in the front steer only. I'm going to try to hop this to get up to the top of it. There we go. All right, back in the rear steer. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, I got to try some of that dig action here. See, the dig isn't really strong enough as far as the motors go to hold it and some of that is the gearing but it is completing it <laughs> it 
it is getting it done. It's just such a different way of driving this. So, and I'm, I'm sure if I was to drive this, you know, a lot. Let me see if I can go some dig on that front. Get that front to pull down. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. I always went to rear dig. All right. Wow. Come on, little guy. All right, let's try some more rear dig to pull that through. Very nice, very nice. All right, it did complete it. We're gonna go for the whole nasty. Let's see what we got here. Front steer only. Let's see if we can make that right here. It should articulate it, no problem. As long as it can somehow manage to stay tires down. Looks like it got that pretty well. There we go. Now, the crack of doom. Uh, I'll have to see how this works out here. See if it'll articulate and get down into it. It feels like it needs twice as much gearing. All right, there we go. All right, so, um, hmm. Pretty sure that front's gonna come out, yep. Try to manipulate it and bring it back a little bit. We're gonna go to some front dig and see if I can hold the front down while the back rolls. Back is not pulling. Okay, here we are. We're gonna go back to four wheel drive now. Oh, okay. Back to four wheel steering. That's not gonna work either. That back in is just, oh guys. Uh, let's try the crack again. And let's give it that second shot here just to see if I can somehow manage it. Definitely needs tighter turn. The dog bones are a big limiter here. Ah, uh, that thing is just trying to twist right up here okay some pro oh no all right let's try that uh dig option again to try to pull the back end over i right, so got some power into it there if I can keep that front end to stay down in that top groove. Nope, it's not going to do it. The back end is just... Uh, uh, let's try a little bit of momentum, maybe? <laughs> uh, it's just not even getting close. Not even getting close. Not even pulling the back tire up on it. So, no crack of doom today. What about climb time? Oh, okay. Let's see if I can get that front. To... There we go. Got that back turned off. Turn it back on. Come on, little one. Come on, little one. Yeah! Oh no, we're not giving up now. There we go. I <laughs> got climb time. Since it's on 3S, you guys know I had to do this, right? There's no way to not do a cyclone, donut, whatever you want to call it, with a four wheel steer 3S truck got to happen it's got plenty of juice 
the drive went well. I mean, a few things that it just doesn't seem to want to get, and the gearing, it, it's got eight tooth pinion gears on it, but it needs like a whole nother gear reduction in the axle. Um, the little 380 motors, they, they do what they can, but it needs a little bit more reduction, I think, to really make this thing crawl. And a little more reduction would also help reduce the clod saw because it'd be a more gearing torque advantage over the tires. Uh, the tires did as good as they could. Um, it did make it up gatekeeper. I got to make a name for that, which will happen soon. Um, thing done good. It made it up uh, climb time, which was absolutely awesome. Could not get the crack of doom. Not get the crack of doom. But overall, I think it was a good drive. I think the uh, tires would have to get tuned. Foams, something to make them work on this. But I'll put the uh, Proline crawlers back on it because I got something else I need to do with these tires. You guys will see that a little bit later. But anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and finish this out with a decent drive. I'll, I'll put links to all this up down below. See if I can find a dance sheet for you guys as well. So, guys, check that description. Use those links. They are affiliate links. A main eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. Use those links. It helps out the channel. So, guys, check that description. Once more, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. And thank you all for watching. Hey, guys, if you're still watching and you're hearing this message, you are absolutely awesome. I want to tell you guys, you are the cream of the crop. Um, also, if you're listening this far, well, you know, if you want to help directly support Exo Caged RC, got the channel memberships, $2, $5, $10, and $25. You get early viewing, and sometimes I get to put up a little extra footage for you guys. So guys, check that description, and thank you so much.